Hello everyone and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. In this step by step guide I'll be showing you how you can recreate this log cabin for your Minecraft world. You'll want to clear out an area of 19 blocks by 22 blocks for the cabin. And these are the materials you'll be requiring for the build. As always you may have some placeholder blocks left over at the end. Now let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is decide where the front of your building is going to be. And you want to do that by picking one of your 19 block long sides. So for me that's going to be this side. And then taking your dark oak planks we're going to start by building up a little bit of decking. So we count in 1, 2, 3 blocks, place a dark oak plank here. Then coming in towards the centre of the build you want to place another 1, 2, 3. Then along our front outline here we want to build in another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Switch to our dark oak slabs, place 3 of these down just like that. Back to our planks go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 once again. Another corner block, then another 1, 2, 3 coming in. Then what you want to do is taking your dark oak slabs, you want to fill in the gap between these two dark oak plank walls. So once you've filled the gap in, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Then to finish off the flooring of our decking, what we're going to do is we're just going to add one more layer coming in towards the centre of the build with our slabs. So it should look like this when you're finished. Then to finish off our decking, what we're going to do is taking our spruce fences, we're going to build up too high at either side of our little slab entrance like that. Then we're going to build up too high again in each of the corners just like this. So these little bits are going to be responsible for holding up the roof that's going to overhang the decking. Then to finish up the decking what you want to do is take your fences and simply place them all along the top of your dark oak planks like so. Next up we're going to start by working on the front wall of the building. So what I'm going to do first is taking my dark oak logs, I'm going to come to where our little dark oak plank wall ends for our decking and then I'm going to build up one, two, three, four blocks high at either side. So next up we're going to add in the wall itself. So the way we're going to do this is taking our stripped spruce logs, we're going to do a little zigzag sort of pattern. So the way I'm going to do this is starting behind our dark oak log at the left hand side I'm going to place an upright strip spruce log, then I'm going to place a horizontal one beside that. Back to an upright, horizontal, upright, horizontal, then I'm just going to repeat this, changing every block all the way along. So your wall should be making a little pattern like this. Then I'm simply going to do the same and I'm going to add another three layers of our strip spruce logs on top. But this time, instead of doing a vertical one at the start here, I'm actually going to invert them. So on top of all of our vertical logs, I'm going to place a horizontal log. And on top of all our horizontal logs, I'm going to place a vertical log, just like this. So as we go up, you should see the pattern starting to layer on top of each other, just like that. So once you've added those other three layers onto your front wall you should start to see it take shape just like this and you can see here the pattern changing by every block just like so. So what we're going to do next is add a way for us to get actually inside the building which would be very handy and make this cabin useful. So what I want to do is line yourself up with this middle dark oak slab here. At the top wall you want to remove this and place an upside down stair. Just underneath you want to break out these two blocks, come on the inside of your build and place down a dark oak door, just like that, so you should have this little doorway entrance. Next up we're going to add some windows so we can see outside, so what you want to do is leave a two block gap here of your stripped logs, then we're going to place some oak trap doors down, beside that we're going to knock out a 2x2 two two here and place in our white stained glass, then once again we're going to place our two oak trap doors just like that. And then you want to repeat that design over at this side. And the final little bit of detail I'm going to do to finish up the front wall for the meantime is just add in these little dark oak fence gates. So coming just above where you've placed your oak trap doors, we're going to build all the way along, skipping our stair here, and just place our dark oak fence gates and open them up just like that. And in the corners we're actually going to add in some lanterns, but we'll need to wait until the roof is done so we can actually hang them down from that. So next up we're going to start working on the side walls, so what I'm going to do first is taking our dark oak logs once more, I'm going to come just to where our front wall ends here and I'm going to build up one, two, three, four blocks again. I'm then going to take some spruce fences and build them up four high just in the corners, joining up our two logs like that. 
Then at the side of our log here, I'm going to add our spruce fences on small. We just have this little design like that. So next up, it's time for the wall itself. So taking our stripped spruce logs once more, we're going to repeat this pattern on all of the side walls and the back wall again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a vertical block like this, horizontal, vertical, and interchange them all the way down. And you want to bring these down by 13 blocks. Then we're going to build it up five blocks high this time instead of the four that we've done for the front wall. Then to finish up this side, what I'm going to do is take our dark oak logs again and just at the diagonal from our wall, I'm going to build up one, two, three, four once again and place our spruce fences just like that. And what you want to do now is take this design and repeat it just over at the other side of your build. So once you've added in those side walls, your build should be looking something a little bit like this. Next up, it's time to add the back wall onto the cabin. And you might have guessed it, we're going to be taking our stripped spruce logs once more and we're going to be repeating this design at the back. Only this time we're going to build the wall up four high, just like we did over at the front. So now that we have our stripped spruce wall, what we're going to do next is coming out one block, we're going to take our dark oak logs once more and build up one, two, three, four blocks high as always. Take our spruce fences and join our two logs in the middle like that. And you want to repeat that over at this side. So next we're going to add a little bit of detail to our back wall and the first thing that we're going to do is add in some windows. So starting at the end of the wall beside our dark oak pillar, we're going to count up one, two, three blocks. Place an oak trap door just like that. Break a one by three hole here and fill this in with our white stained glass. Place another trap door just at the end of our glass like that. And you want to place an oak trap door in the center just so it looks like it's been closed on the glass. And then again, you want to repeat that over at this side. So next up, we're going to add some more dark oak fence gates along the top. But before we do that, we just want to come to the center of our back wall and take our dark oak logs once more and build up four blocks high like that, just so we have a nice middle support. Then once again with our dark oak fence gates, just place these all along the top and open them up. So to finish off the back wall, we're going to add in a little bit of details. So taking your spruce trap doors, what you want to do is come to the corner log here like this, place a trap door just at the top of the block, place a lantern on top just like that, then come to our middle pillar, then we're going to want to place a spruce trap door here and here, Place a flower pot on both of them. Then place a cactus in one flower pot and a bamboo in the other like that. Then just repeat over here with your lantern. You just have this little bit like so. And for the final touch, we're just going to add some flower beds. So what I want to do is in the middle two blocks between our two spruce trap doors, we're going to place two dirt or grass blocks, cover it up with some more spruce trap doors, and then place any flower of your choice on top, just like so. So once you're finished, your back wall should be looking something a little bit like this. So now that we have all of our walls up, we're going to add in a little bit of a floor on the inside. So what you want to do is take your spruce logs, and at both of the sides, you want to place your logs going in a horizontal pattern, just from the front wall all the way to the back wall. Then what you want to do is, joining up both of them at the front and back wall, you want to place them horizontally again, just like this. So your logs should join up in the corners just like that. Then once that's done, what you want to do is take your spruce slabs and just fill in this gap, placing the slab on the top of the block like so. So as you're filling the gap with your spruce slabs, your floor should be looking like this. Next up, it's time to put a roof on the cabin. And to do that, we're going to build the roof in a couple of different sections. And we're going to start with the back section because that's probably the easiest. So what you want to do is taking your dark oak slabs, you're going to start by placing a slab on top of this fence between your dark oak logs in the corner, and you want to build all the way across until you reach the fence at the other side. Next up, taking your dark oak planks, you're going to come one block in from your dark oak slabs and build all the way across once again. So now that we have our dark oak planks in place, we're going to switch to our dark oak stairs and we're going to do four layers of our stairs. So each block of our stairs we want to come in one and up one, so that will be layer 1 on that level, layer 2 on that level, layer 3 on that level, and then finishing off in layer 4 on that level like that. 
Then just like we did with our dark oak planks and our dark oak slabs, we're going to want to build all the way across with our dark oak stairs. Next up, on the top layer of your stairs, what you want to do is switch back to your dark oak slabs and you want to come up a block and out a block with your slabs, just like that. And once more, build all the way across. And to finish off, you want to build out with your stairs. Now to do this, I'm going to place a temporary block here and here. Come back around and place our stair just like that. So the bottom of the stair should be on the same level as our slab that we just placed. Then to finish off this part of the roof, what I'm going to do is switch back to our dark oak planks and I'm going to do a layer just against our stairs that we just placed. Then for a little bit of detail on the top of our roof, I'm going to take our dark oak stairs and I'm going to place these at the top of our planks we just placed and make sure that they're all facing in the same way. So this is what will be the top of the roof and you see we start to get this nice little bit of spiked detail to it. So now that we have the back roof done, we're going to start working on the front of the roof and the first thing we're going to do for this is the little bit of overhang over our decking. So coming to the front of the build, on top of this fence here between our two dark oak logs, I'm going to place a dark oak slab and come out by another one. Then coming down to the top of this dark oak log, I'm going to come out three with our dark oak slabs just like that. And I'm going to build these across and this is where you can start to see the shape of the overhang. So you want to repeat this all the way over to the other side once again. So your little overhang above your decking should look something a little bit like this. Now we're going to switch back to our dark oak planks and we're going to do another layer across. And as you probably guessed it, we're going to switch back over to our dark oak stairs and we're going to do another four layers of our stairs just like we did on the back wall. So each level you're going to go in a block and up a block. So once you've added in the stairs to the front, your roof should look like this. And don't worry, we are going to add that little front window in a moment. So what we're going to do next is because we already have this center piece placed, we're going to take our dark oak stairs and we're going to place another layer of these against the dark oak planks just there in the middle. Then once again, switching back to our dark oak slabs, we're going to place them just in front of our stairs like so. So once you've added the front of the roof, it should be looking a little something like this. So now that we've got the wooden part of the roof done, what we're going to do next is add a nice little stone brick outline just to give it a bit more texture and make it a bit more interesting to look at. So what I'm going to do is at the front of the build here, on top of our corner fence, I'm going to place a stone brick slab and I'm going to come out an additional slab here. And I'm going to build all the way across until we get to the fence at the other side. Just like so. Come out an additional block again here. Then beside that block at either side, I'm going to place a full stone brick like that. Then what you're going to want to do for the sides, you're going to want to copy whatever wooden blocks you've used with your stone brick blocks. So where you've used a dark oak slab, you want to use a stone brick slab. Wherever you've used a dark oak plank, you want to use a stone brick block. And wherever you've used a stair, you want to use a stone brick stair. And you just want to repeat the design for the roof all the way from the front to the back. But when you get to this middle section here, we don't want to put a stair, we're just going to put a little slab on top like that. Then coming all the way back down, just repeating your blocks. Then what we're going to do now is coming down to the back of the build, we're actually going to place our stone brick slab just at the top of this log here like so. And we're going to build up until we're just at the front of the block here. Then we're going to build all the way across with these slabs once again. Then you're going to want to repeat the same thing that you did at the other side here, so just repeat the stone brick blocks to match up with your dark oak blocks. So once you've added in your stone bricks, your roof should be looking a little something like this. So next up, I'm going to add a little bit more detail just to make the roof a little bit nicer at the sides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark oak stills and I'm going to come underneath the little overhang of the roof and I'm going to place some upside down stills going all the way up from the bottom to the top. I'm then going to place a dark oak slab, leave a gap here, place a dark oak slab here, then taking our stairs, I'm going to place upside down stairs all the way into the bottom like so. Then once again, you want to take your stone brick variants and you're going to want to repeat this just underneath the stone brick outline you just added. So the side of your roof should look something like this. 
then of course you want to make sure you repeat that over on this side. So next up we're going to add a window to the front of our roof. So to do this what you want to do is come up to your first line of dark oak planks, count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks of your dark oak planks, then remove the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your front wall and you're going to extend that up by another 3 blocks. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. Then on the top layer, we're just going to build this three blocks along. Then we're going to add another block just in the center, like so. Next up, taking our white glass panes, what I'm going to do is add a little T-shaped window, just like that. Then what I'm going to do next is at the sides, I'm going to place a dark oak plank here. Then I'm going to build all the way up to the center block with our dark oak stills. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. Then what I'm going to do next is taking our stairs, I'm simply just going to join up these blocks with the original stairs on our roof. I am just want to make sure that I get them curving in so they join up with our window frame like so. And you want to remove this little corner block here and replace that with a plank. Then we're going to want to repeat this design over at the other side. Then I'm just simply going to remove these stairs in the middle. Again, make sure we've got a plank in here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go inside and underneath our window. I'm just going to remove any excess blocks that we don't need. So we just want to open up the window so we can see inside and let in a nice bit of light. Then up at the top here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this gap with some dark oak planks. Then taking our dark oak stairs, I'm going to build them side by side all the way across until we get to the middle. So we're basically just taking that little spike pattern we've done in the centre of our roof, adding that to the front above our window like so. So when you're finished, your window should be looking something like this. So to finish off our window design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the stone brick outline and add a little stone brick outline to the front of our window. So the way I'm going to do this is coming in front of our oak planks we've added at the side here, I'm going to remove the slab and build up too high with our stone bricks like so. Then I'm going to take the stone brick stairs and just repeat the pattern all the way up, similar to what we did at the side of the roof like that. I'm then going to place some upside down stairs just to thicken out that. I'm going to place an upside down stair just at the top of our stripped spruce log here. Then facing in towards our dark oak stairs, I'm going to place a stair here. And coming back out to the front, I'm going to place an upside down stair just coming out from that one like so. So the little bit of the outline for your window should look like this. So now that I have our roof finished, I'm just coming back around to the front of the house and just underneath our decking. I'm just going to add in these hanging lanterns in the corner that I spoke about at the start. So what we're going to do next is we're going to finish the two sides of the house and what I'm going to do first is I just want to take this wall and I just want to repeat this design and build all the way up until we meet the roof up at the top. So now that I have our wall all filled in, what we're going to do to finish up is add in a nice big window and window frame. So what you want to do is, starting at one of the sides, you're going to want to count up 1, 2, 3 blocks. Then count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks towards the centre. Then we're going to knock out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks here. Then another 5 block layer above that. Then just above that, in the middle, we're going to knock out 3 blocks here. So you should have this shape like that. Then taking your white stained glass panes, we're just going to fill this gap in with our glass. Now taking your stone brick slabs, what you want to do is on the very bottom block up at the top, you want to place a layer of slabs just underneath your glass. Then switching to your stone brick stairs, we're going to place some upside down stairs at either side of our slabs. Place three stone brick walls going upwards above our stairs like so. Then with your stone brick stairs once again, we're going to place a stair on top of the wall while we're facing out away from the middle of our window. So they should be facing just like that. Then we're going to come above these stairs we've just placed and add another stair where we're facing in towards the middle of the window. So it'll start to take shape just like that. Then we're going to join the top of our stairs using our stone brick slabs like so. Then in the centre we're going to place an upside down stair. 
And then beside that, facing in towards the centre, we're going to place two right, up, right side upstairs, like so. And then we're going to top it off with a nice stone slab, just to get a nice little point like that. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some cobblestone walls and replace a couple of our stone brick walls. Some stone stairs and replace a couple of our stairs and stone slabs to replace some slabs. And this will help just add a little bit more detail by breaking up the texture. So to finish off the details for the window, what we're going to do is taking three grass blocks, we're going to place them in the middle of the window like so. Then cover up the grass blocks with some spruce slabs like that. So we're basically just making a nice little planter here. Then you can take your three favourite flowers and place them like so. And then the final piece we're going to do is just add a nice bit of light hanging down like so. So once you're finished up, your side windows should be looking like this. And you want to repeat that over at the other side of the building. So the final thing we've got to do for our log cabin is put in our fireplace so we're nice and toasty on those long cold nights. So taking your stone brick blocks at the back of the house you want to build a 3x3 outline just like that. Then you want to replace the middle block at the front with a slab and put a campfire down in the middle just like so. Next up taking your stone bricks at the back middle block and at the two sides in the middle you want to build them up 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks high and wherever you need to just knock out that roof that was blocking you because we're going to be removing most of this anyway for the fireplace. Then taking our andesite walls, we're going to place a wall in each of the four corner blocks, just like so. Then with our stone brick stairs at the front, we're going to place a right side upstairs above our walls. And then we're going to do the same at the back, but this time we're going to make sure we're facing towards the centre. So these stairs should face just like that. Then right above those stairs, we're going to place an upside down stair. Just like that. And then in the middle here, we're just going to join up here with our stair to close that off. Then taking some iron bars, we're going to place them just above that middle slab. So your fireplace should start to be taking this shape. So right above our upside down stair at the centre here, we're going to start building up. And we're going to build up by 7 blocks high with our stone bricks. So that's going to mark where the top of our chimney is going to be. Then this back block here, we're going to build this up just to match the same height. And then we should have our block here, which is the centre of the side. We're going to do the exact same. And then repeat that over here. But we're also going to open up this gap there for the chimney to get through. That's how that should be looking. Then in each of the four corners, we're going to knock out these stairs to reveal those blocks. Then we're going to come down and build up these blocks. Just so it matches up the same height as our roof. And you want to do that over here. Then taking our andesite walls once more, we're going to build all the way up the corners with our walls until we get to the top block. So your walls should be matching up like that. Then we're going to do one additional layer with our walls like so. Switch back to our stone brick stairs and then we're going to place an upside down stair. So having our walls here just helps us get the placement of that right. Then switching back to our walls for the very last time, we're going to place one additional block on top. And then we're going to top our andesite walls off with some pots like so. So to finish off the chimney we're just going to add a little bit of detail so the first thing I'm going to do is just a couple of blocks down I'm going to place another campfire just so we can see the smoke coming all the way out of the top. Then taking the cracked stone bricks I'm just going to replace some of our normal stone bricks just to help break up the texture and give it a bit more detail. Then on the inside I'm going to knock out these two blocks at the corners and place some lanterns here for a little bit of light. Then just above our fireplace, I'm going to add a little clock. And then the final piece I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little 2 by one painting. That is the perfect one we want. A nice little distinguished old man. And that is your chimney all finished. And there we have it, your very own log cabin. The cabin makes a great addition to any of your forest areas with the big fireplace making it nice and cosy in those snowy biomes. Or you could look at using it as a starter base since all the materials we use can be gathered quite early on in a new Minecraft world. If you're looking to mix up the build a bit, you could look at swapping out the stone brick edging of the roof for something like blackstone, or even swap out the strip log walls for a more traditional plank design. If you'd like some suggestions for the interior of the build, be sure to check out my Twitter link below where I'll be sharing some of the pictures of this basic interior setup that I have behind me. 
Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and if you've enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft content in the future. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye!